Carro. Hello my Sagittarian friends, it's Guiding Halo. I hope you're all doing well. This is going to be your weaving, a uh, weeding. <laughs> Some of you might be weeding the garden. <laughs> this is going to be your reading for the week of uh, the 7th to the 14th of March. Let's find out what's coming in for you guys. What the line wants you to do, keep in mind, sacred space. Take time for the dreamer in you. Find your power and stillness in this in your sacred space is the peace you seek. I really just thought Leo. I don't know if I said Leo. You might be dealing with a Leo, but there's some sort of need from us Sagittarians to have sacred space and to really just step into that. Take time for the dreamer in you. Find your power and stillness in your sacred space is the place you seek. That same card has come out in the last four readings. So I'm going to put it back. I'm going to split the deck in half. I'm going to put this down here. You may have a new home to a new job or a place of employment. A new home to a uh, happy move to a new home. Place of employment is in the works. This move will usher in positive new energy. Take out, take our time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. So there's some sort of need to really care for your emotions. I think maybe you're starting to feel safe in the caring for yourself. And perhaps you're getting this new home so that you can care for yourself better. Tell me about this sacred space, what the divine wants you to ponder while you're in it. Time, Take time for the dreamer in you. Find your power and stillness in your sacred space is the peace you seek. The universe has my back. Well, there is your card, my friends. The universe is there, has your back. They want you to go into stillness and realize how over all of your life the universe has been here for you. How they've had miraculous solutions have come out of the clear blue sky when you didn't have to do anything for it. It just showed up for you. They want you to remember how the universe has had your back and be in stillness, work towards your dreams, don't compromise. In the sacred, in your sacred space is the peace you seek. So if you're seeking a new home or place of employment, it will be very peaceful for you. It'll be like a time out, really. You've been so busy rushing around at your other job or whatever, or your other home. This new home will be a peaceful place. I choose love no matter what. Love is the reason, the season, the answer. The more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. Wanting to be free, wanting to have peace. I think somebody wants to have the right to, or feel the right to say what they want to say in their own home, to be the one to make the rules. Yeah, that's exactly what someone wants. To be the one to make the rules. Their own rules. Three of Wands. Your ship's coming in. You've been waiting for quite some time. I would say since the third month last year, March last year, you've been waiting. Your ship's coming in. There's something here about you've made your decision. You've been at a crossroads. Your ship's coming in. It could be with a kindred spirit or a significant other, a soulmate. It could be a child. It could be a person that comes in to bring love. Look at this. Brand new home, brand new job, brand new life, brand new you. This is going to take absolute confidence to step into. Truly, it speaks of new emotion, new love, confidence, the confidence to step forward. This is going to fill you with immense joy. And I'm going to say, it's something you're going to want to celebrate with everybody. This is the home foundation. The Four of Wands. There's an opportunity coming to you that's going to be absolute celebration. So it very well could be new job, new home. If you've been looking for that place to buy or to rent or to sign a lease agreement on, there's some sort of agreement. Signatures will be put on paper here. This is beautiful energy, and I'm so glad to hear it for you guys. I know a couple of Sagittarians who are facing very similar energies about the new, wanting the new, 
trying to find to figure out when it's going to happen. How's it going to happen? What's it going to look like? I don't know. Clearly decide what you want and the divine will bring it your way. The question is, I don't know what I want. All I know is I want peace and serenity and I feel I'll have that with some sort of movement. So there's that. Let's get a postcard from Spirit. Dearest you, do you know how much we love you and want to help you? We are here for you and we hear you ask for guidance, but you must let go and let us help you. You don't have to do it all. You've done your part. Now let us do ours. You would be awestruck if you knew how many strings were pulled through the matrix to give you what you need and desire. Spirit has a plan and when you sign up to be a co-creator, you need to remember to allow that partnership. It's not one-sided. Your desires and plans meet up with those of spirit. Remember though, spirit's timetable and ideals and how things will play out may be quite different from yours. Trust us, spirit's ideas are amazing. Now let go and let us do the magic. Pay attention to other areas of your life and before you know it, a miracle will have taken place. Beautiful. You are a magnet for miracles. The universe has your back. Choose love no matter what. Heck, does it get any better than this? The Three of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. I mean, come on. This is one of the most beautiful readings I've had today, my Sagittarian friends. Some joy is about to come all your way. Someone might be selling a home and getting a new one faster than you expected. Key of Life. The ink portends new life being born through you now. This new life being born in whatever form will enrich your life, bringing you more into wholeness and fulfillment. Do not do not give up on your creative destiny. Stay with it. You are flowing in the right direction, and you have spiritual support from the unseen worlds. Let it happen. There's something here about your, your need to control how it looks, what it looks like. I want to be the boss of how it looks, what it looks like. And the divine's like, man, the more you do that, the more stalled up we get. So... Let's move forward. Let's look at the options. Trust the universe has her back and know that it's going to come in exactly in the moment it's supposed to. No ifs, ands, or buts about that scenario. Let me tell you what. You've been manifesting a brand new start. Brand new home, brand new life, brand new you. It's going to be cause for celebration. This is something that I, I think even you're going to be surprised about. You're going to be surprised about how the universe is taking care of you. I think there's somebody here who doubts that they're loved. I think there's somebody here who doubts that they're cared for. Many somebodies, I would even say. And I think you're all going about things in a certain way or whichever that's causing a little bit of disharmony. But if you actually take the time to stop and communicate... And get on the same page as everybody. There is a lot of love here. A lot of love. There's a new life being born. In whatever form will enrich your life. Bringing you more into wholeness and fulfillment. Do not give up on your creative destiny. Stay with it. You are flowing in the right direction. And you have spiritual support from the unseen worlds. Let it happen. Man, God is bringing you guys something beautiful. Holy crap, I'm getting excited. I feel like the excitement's just growing within you. It's like a like a wave of, of electricity coming to bring new life to the circumstances. How amazing and beautiful is this? I love you guys. I hope you have a beautiful week. Blessings.